Hi everyone, I am Sandra Dona Shaji, a student of Sacred Heart Matriculation High Secondary School, Kayuni. Today, I am going to discuss with you a topic in chemistry. In this video, we are going to learn how to calculate the concentration of reactants and products in equilibrium. To calculate that, let us consider A modes of hydrogen and B modes of iodide gas in a container of volume V. It is also given that let X moles of hydrogen and iodide react to form 2X moles of hydrogen iodide. X moles each of hydrogen and iodide. From this we have the equation H2 plus I2 gives 2HI. Using this information we can find the active mass. Let us find the active mass step by step. For this we require the following table. Initial number of moles, number of moles reacted, number of moles at equilibrium and active mass. First, number of, initial number of moles for hydrogen is A, for iodide it is B and for hydrogen iodide there is no initial number of moles because it is not formed at the initial state. Number of moles reacted is X for hydrogen, X for iodide and there is no hydrogen iodide. Number of moles at equilibrium is A minus X for hydrogen, B minus X for iodide and 2X for hydrogen iodide. Now let us calculate the active mass. Active mass is given by number of moles divided by the volume. So here we are taking number of moles at equilibrium. So it is A minus X by V for hydrogen, B minus X by V for iodide and 2X by V for hydrogen iodide. Using these values we have to find the value of Kc. For that we have to apply the law of mass action. Do you know what is the law of mass action? Law of mass action states that at any instant the rate of a chemical reaction at a given temperature is directly proportional to the product of active mass of the reactants at that instant. And how do we find the active mass? It is already given by N by V. Let us substitute the following values after using the law of mass action. Kc equals 2x divided by V the whole square whole divided by A minus x by V into B minus x by V. These values we got from the table we saw before. Now let us simplify this equation. We have 4x square divided by v square the whole divided by a minus x into b minus x. We can cancel out this v so we get the following equation kc equals 4x square divided by a minus x into b minus x. This is the final value of kc. Now let us find the value of kp. The equilibrium constant kp can be found using the relationship between kp and kc. The relationship is kp equals kc into delta ng. We have to find the value of delta ng. It is np minus nr. That is number of moles in product minus number of moles in reactant. We can find that using the following equation. H2 and I2. Here we have 2 and here we have 2 for Hi. So the equation is 2 minus 2 which equals 0. Now we got the value of delta Ng as 0. When delta Ng equals 0, Kp equals Kc. So the value of Kp will be the same as that we got for Kp. So Kp equals 4x squared divided by A minus x into B minus x. 